Hey everybody, this is Josh, just popping in here at the beginning of the episode to let you know that we now have a Patreon. That's right, patreon.com slash yet. There you'll find a bunch of cool tiers that you can subscribe and help support the show with. Uh, some of the benefits include a shout out in every episode for your social media, small business, online store, whatever. Uh, we also have um, opportunities to join our Discord fan server and chat with the cast. Uh, We also have um, access to uh, full unedited um, sessions, so you can hear everything that we do over the course of the three to four hours that we record. Um, It's a lot of fun, so be sure to check that out. That's patreon.com slash are we dead yet? All right, let's get to the show. Sinister Secrets and Dark Truths mystical creatures and magical powers, dark dungeons and enlightened paths, all lead us to ask that one question as time marches onward. Are we dead yet? So yeah, you guys, uh, the monsters have dipped out and disappeared into some strange mist down the hallway to your, well, on the map that I posted to the left. And you guys are are now here in this room. Uh, You can proceed onward or head back, whatever you want to do. Just uh, let me know. Well, do we chase after them? Well, we ended immediately at the end of the fight. We didn't like heal and fix everyone yeah. up. Yeah, no, yeah, right. yeah, you yeah. guys are still cut up. You know, you're yeah, this is probably like the the afterglow of combat. You probably got some uh some adrenaline still pumping. All right. I'm and glowing I, with blood. Did I heal you already, Sherman? I don't remember if I did that before we ended. I got healed 9 at some point. That oh, was I think you healed that was me after too. you and then I got Oh crud. Okay, healed 9 and then I took a hit of 27 so now i'm at 14 okay uh what exactly can i cast at the moment i've only got uh i forgot to take uh healing prayer healing prayer is one of those that it's okay to do like yeah it's okay to do out of combat because it takes 10 minutes to cast yeah i mean i thought we were more injured but if it's only two of us at the moment uh like I said, I'm fine. All right. Um, and shit, what was your character's name again? Uh, Vora, was it? Yep. All right. Uh, yeah, Ebris is going to turn around from standing over Vora and say, uh, <laughs> my lord, or uh, not. <laughs> Let me restart that. that gonna, whoa. <laughs> He's not calling you his lord. He means oh, okay. like, my god, or my god, so I should probably say that. It's like, my god. I haven't been doing a very good job protecting you so far. I deeply apologize, and I'm going to uh, level three healing word on you. For uh, I don't have enough dice for that out at the moment, so for fifteen. I'm looking better. My uh, my bleeding orifices have stopped bleeding, but I still look battered and shit. And Everest is going to uh, reach down and help Vora to his feet and ask, uh, should we turn back? Now, let's uh, get those fuckers. I, I agree. <laughs> what about you two? Remember, end of last session, uh, I flipped them off. <laughs> you did flip them off. <laughs> I flipped them yeah. off. And like, uh, yeah, submit or die. <laughs> Submit. It's like Chester's. You. Chester's licking a minor wound on his arm. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's awesome. It's so good, this guy. Um, it's gonna say, um, um, you guys didn't uh, did they just kind of uh disappear out of nowhere? So we don't actually know where they are. Yeah, but now we've got free reign of the place. 
Indeed. That's true. They have to have left something behind. If oh, not, yeah, maybe, maybe they left they might come back something for. valuable behind. Um, we should get the valuable thing for um, in investigating. Perfect idea. Yeah. It, of course they'd come for something valuable. That's yeah, something on your feet. Yeah. Uh, gold or, uh, you know, artifacts, trophies, statues, food. Idols. Oh, idols. Yeah, Th those are usually made of gold. So let's, uh, let's, let's yeah, let's Alrighty, proceed forward. let's go. I, and uh, Everus is going to turn and lead the way down the hallway. The hallway that the mages disappeared into? Yes, the, the way that we did not come from. Uh, so you guys get about, we'll say about 50 feet down the hallway or so, and you come to a, a little T-junction again. Uh, you can go straight forward or you can go to the left. So not really a T, more like an L. Um, looking down the two hallways, what do we see? Um, you just see, um, down one hallway, it's just a short short trip and then it takes off to the right and if you keep going straight eventually that hallway turns down to the right but these walls are very plainly paved they've got torch sconces in them uh, sconces in them with burning torches but nothing really descriptive yet well um uh, left or right guys friends mm -hmm. or left or Forward. straight forward you want to yeah. keep going straight down the hallway? You don't want to take down that little detour? Sure. No, let's just keep going straight. Well, okay. I mean... Hmm, if it's confirmed <laughs> well, a detour... Well, no, I just... It, well, I mean, just... It's, <laughs> nah. <laughs> left. Uh, yeah, I'm down for whatever you guys want to do. I don't think I can have anything that I can do to discern... Creepy way is the best way. Which way, but... Well, I would imagine the biggest threat is gone, so uh, Everest would probably be more relaxed about searching and think, yeah, we could just come back later. Yeah. Okay. Uh, straight on ahead, then. All right. Uh oh, okay. <laughs> oh, wait, or... I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay, never mind. We'll go straight. No, 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 no. you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> do you want to go left or do you want to go straight? Straight. We going straight. Committed okay. now. Okay. But I'm not straight, so that's a little awkward. Well, so I guess I gotta you know, go left. <laughs> I mean, neither is Flora. <laughs> it's been a pleasure serving with you. It, you fall into a tiger pit and you die <laughs> alone in the sewer. <laughs> Aww. I'm kidding. Why are there tigers in the sewer, though? Like, I, I kind of. Why are there slods and fucking howlers and. That makes mages more sense. Tigers, though, <laughs> like, those are majestic jungle beasts, not majestic sewer beasts. You never know. Have you ever seen a tiger down in the sewers? I've spent a lot no. of time in the sewers, and let me tell you what. No. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you continue uh, uninterrupted, unperturbed uh, down the hallway. Um, you take a right. You go about another 100, 150 feet or so, and you come into um, a about a medium sized room probably about 20 feet across uh, and about probably 40 feet wide uh, standing um, or in this room there are just two doors one to the left and one to the right and standing in front of each door is a person wearing a hooded cloak uh, you can see two glowing red eyes beneath the hood and uh, they start saying um so you wish to see our masters, a chance to take them down this time. But if you wish to make it there, you must first listen to our rhyme. One door leads deeper to their castle in the ground, the other to an endless maze where you'll go round and round. Ask one of us a question and we will answer you. But the answer that you'll get will be one of two. For one of us tells only lies and one of us does not. Figure out our riddle or you surely will get got. Oh man, I didn't Fuck. know there'd be riddles in this dungeon. Well, Arany, told you we should have gone left. What's the riddle, sir? The riddle is which door? Oh! <laughs> you... 
oh, that shows how much I've been paying attention. <laughs> um, so I'll, I'll break it down. So basically, you can ask each one of them a question. Um, one of them will lie to you, and one of them will tell the truth, and you don't know which is which right now. Got it. So um, um, Chester is going to approach these two guys. Okay. So I can ask you any question, correct? Uh, the one on the left says w- the one on the left says yes. The one on the right says no. And he's going to turn to the one on the left and go. So which door is it? W- which door? You've takes- already asked your question, sir. Ah! <laughs> oh snap! <laughs> um, well, maybe you guys get questions. We we all know. Um, yeah. I'm sorry, John, but that was <laughs> <laughs> that was that was very good. <laughs> oh man! All right, oh. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah. So, uh, walking, uh, Vora walks up next to Chester. Um, so which door is it? The one on the right points to the one on the left. The one on the left points to the one on the right. I'm just going to whisper, like, what if, what if we just, like, what if we just, like, shot these people? <laughs> no, 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 but they, they might have something valuable. Maybe I can, um, maybe I can snag something off them. Why don't you distract them? Oh, oh, okay. Uh, so, uh, I guess... Oh, crud. Um, I guess it's going to go up and start flapping their wings and singing and dancing. And, singing uh, them a song. While this is happening, Chester is going to okay. try to... <laughs> Chester is going to try and uh, pick their pockets. <laughs> I mean, you could just ask him a question. You're going to try and pick their pockets while you're... <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't... Okay, I'm going to need a performance check from it first, for sure. <laughs> I think we need I think we need a performance from from Zoe actually is what we need here. <laughs> yeah, get on the webcam. <laughs> <laughs> ah, great. Okay, a performance. Yes, please. Okay, I'm going. Oh. What's that roll? Oh, it's an 11. Um, yeah, the one on the, the left is just kind of raising his eyebrows at you. Um, the one on the right is kind of clapping a little bit, but not super into the performance. All right, so I'm going to try to pickpocket the guy on the, the right that's clapping along <laughs> with this. Yeah, sure. Go for it. Um, roll some stealth and then roll a sleight of hand. All right. There is the stealth. Uh, it's 27 for stealth and 27 for sleight of hand. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, you uh, you just disappear into the shadows. Um, and uh, you reemerge behind the guy. You reach into his little robe pocket there. You pull out a small book of, uh, well, just like a small prayer book almost, it probably looks like. It looks well used. Um, and we'll say you also get 10 gold out, of the, out of the deal. All right. Um, and now I believe we proceed through the door on the right. <laughs> That's it. You're picking the door on the right. <laughs> Hold well, on, I, the, haven't, the... I haven't asked my question yet. Oh yeah, yeah, go for it. Uh, so I can ask one question addressed to either of them or both, right? Yes, you can address your question generally, or you can address one question to one and one question to the other. So, just specify. All right. Uh, well, I'm gonna <laughs> ask both of them. Which one of you is a liar? Uh, they point to each other and say he's the liar. And uh, can I insight check that? <laughs> Wait. Let's hold say on. I insight Wait, check the on. one on the hold right. On. Sorry, sorry. I'm getting lost in my own riddle. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Nobody knows which one is right. No, I mean, I, I have the answer in front of me, but now I'm, I'm getting lost in my riddle. Yeah. The liar 
would point to the one that tells the truth. The truth would tell... Yes. Okay, yes. Then that's right. Yes, they both point to each other. Yeah. They're... So can I insight check the one on the right? Uh, sure. Alrighty. Four... Uh, what's my modifier? Fourteen. Uh, Fourteen uh, is not enough to do it. Um, they both seem like they're believe they 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 believe what they're saying damn thought i could see through them uh can we walk up to the doors uh they're standing they're standing in front of them chester could walk into walk up to one because he's behind the dude not being seen right now mm. okay well we've all asked our questions right it no. has not asked a question. Oh, okay. I have not. Can I cast find traps on the door to the left? Uh, yeah, yeah, you could do that. Do you have to touch the item, or do you? I uh, detect traps five e. Uh, no, I don't. Nope. I don't have to touch S- it. You sense the presence of any trap within range. Ooh. That is within line of sight. Is it not in sight? It's technically behind the door, so... Oh, shit. Fuck. God damn it. (laughs) 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 Yeah. If if there were traps, they would be behind the door. But don't you search for trapped objects? So just if you could see the door or the chest? Um, The trap isn't... Oh, it's because it's behind the door. It's not in my line of sight necessarily. The the trap itself, the the door itself, is not trapped. Mm. Alrighty. Well, now we know we have to be more careful before we make our decision. Because there's probably a trap if we pick the wrong door. Um. If I don't know, if you want a suggestion on what to ask. Sure. Yes. I'm the last is, one with the question. Hey, Chris, out of curiosity, you don't have Zone of Truth, do you? Uh, I don't think I do, actually. Okay. <laughs> so, I, I, unless I'm wrong, which I could be, I'm pretty sure we know which one is the liar at this point. I'm not opening the door. <laughs> uh, one of them says, uh, if you know the answer, just approach the brother that you think is the one in front of the correct door, and we will open it for you. Four heads to the door on the right. <laughs> One of us has to fucking do it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. Um, he says, uh, oh, you picked the wrong door. I guess you'll be here forever. And he opens the door, and there is a path leading onward. Sounds fun. Sounds like a great time. Let's go. Me. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, Everest will lead the way. Good job on that. I pulled that trick from Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I think also from the, the Labyrinth, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> okay, so you have selected the correct door. Um, good job. Uh, your party descends down a tunnel deeper into the earth. Um, you travel for about an hour. Um, I don't know if you guys make small talk while you're traveling or just focus on one foot in front of the other I guess you know general introductions just basics want to know who we're descending into a deep dark tunnel with you know yeah pretty much our, our introductions we've already given to the uh, to the audience sure sure um, so as you come out of this tunnel the cavern suddenly opens up into a massive subterranean chamber You see inside this chamber, there are several other tunnels leading off to other uh, sections, probably similar to the one you just exited. But the main centerpiece inside of this cavern is a large castle resting in the center. It is tall. It is dark. It's handsome. Oh, wait. No, sorry. That's That's someone else. Um, And there you go. Dropped it in the map section for you. Oh, oh my! Ain't that just a tall drink of water? Ooh, what a sexy castle! You guys, yeah. if you were looking, um, Chester's eyes have completely dilated in excitement at the treasure he's going to find here. 
<laughs> Hope your bags aren't aren't full. Within this cavern, there are plenty of spots and like little alcoves that you could like dip into if you wanted to take a long rest or a short rest, recover some of your HPs and spell slots. I will. Uh, I'll take the hint, and I suggest we long rest. Okie dokie. Okay. Yeah, I agree. I sure. Agree. Um, I just need two people to take watch during this time. Uh, Eris will take first watch. I mean, I, okay, I, okay. I guess the wisdom Chester can take a second watch there. Uh, Eberus, go ahead and roll a perception check. Um, oh, how, how have you guys set up camp? Like, have you set up so that you have line of sight to the castle, line of sight to where you came from? just kind of dark and out of the way i would say uh well in i would prefer a like cave kind of off the path out of the way yeah that sounds good to me excellent um so are there caves that we can hide in yeah yeah they're like little little smaller alcoves and tunnels and stuff that you haven't you know that, that you can easily you know all right i got a 21 for perception a 21 uh, sure, yeah. Um, we'll say that the the area that you're keeping watch in has a good line of sight to the castle. And you observe throughout the night um, several parties of like five or six enter the castle. And then later those same people leave the castle and go off into another tunnel. Um, presumably with orders. But uh, the night, your, your section of the night passes uh, fairly uh, uneventful. Excellent. Do these people look like uh, like a war party or is a... uh, they looked more like those uh, two um, robed figures that you encountered up top uh, who uh, asked you the riddle. So they passed us or there's more of them. Uh, yeah, because there's definitely more of them because these are like five or six people rather than just two. So excellent. Yeah, All they right. came out and of they... one of the other tunnels that and what were these guys? Were they humans or could we tell uh, you couldn't tell? Okay. Their hoods were pretty covered. If you'd made some perception checks, maybe, but... I uh, didn't. They had human hands. I'll say that. All right. Yeah, I didn't think of it at the time. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go take my, uh, take my sleep. Uh, Chester, do you want to roll a, per- a perception check as well? Already on it. Chester rolls a nine. Um... Yeah, you don't notice anything particular. So Chester's idea of taking watch was uh, as soon as, um, as soon as Ebris, you know, went in and was sound asleep. Chester curled back up and took a little cat nap. <laughs> kind of like <laughs> just half, like half an ear, kind of yeah, paying yeah. To your surroundings, but eyes closed though. Excellent. Okay. Um, well, nothing attacks you in the middle of the night so that's good well that's that's a plus um but yeah when you wake up uh Eberus, do you share any of your observations from the night before yeah i'm gonna let them know i saw more of them beasties that uh stopped us at the doors there's five or six of them coming and going in the night oh yeah i saw quite a yeah i saw i saw them coming and going too they were um uh walking funny <laughs> Why can't you find a house out? Um, it's almost like they were, um, uh, they had rocks in their shoes, probably, is what I'm gonna say. But I was definitely watching them. <laughs> Are you lying? Um, and Chester's tail okay. kinda, kinda curls around one of his legs. Uh, no. Hmm. Okay. I have no reason not to believe you. Uh, do you want to try and proceed into the castle or sneak in or sneak scale in. a wall? Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Yeah. How, like, are we just within like a short jaunt of the castle? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's just, yeah, you could easily get up to the to the pathway and get up to the, the door. No problem. And yeah, I'd say send Chester in. Is it time for a stealth mission? Time for a stealth mission. All right. Buddies together. I'm a stealthy bitch, too. Let's do it. Plus, this means we get first pick at all the loot. 
Shh. Yeah, I oh, know. Um, that we're definitely going to share and split evenly with all of our friends. Shh. No, don't say that. Oh, mm-hmm. um, there's no loot in the castle. No, we're gonna just make sure that everything's safe before you yeah, guys come gonna, join us. Um, get a um, we're gonna look at all the bad guys and make sure that there's you know um, yeah. Let, let's stop talking. Yeah. Don't mind him. Don't mind him. He didn't get enough sleep obviously last night. He gets cranky. <laughs> All right, I've, I've got a stealth roll ready to go when you want it, Josh. Yeah, go for it. Oh, I already got mine. 18. Hey, I got 21. Yeah, we'll say you guys can you guys stick to the shadows uh, really well um, and climb up towards the uh, portcullis that leads into the castle. The portcullis is the gated gate that comes down on a castle, by the way. Um, so, uh, but it's it's just hanging open um, in front of the, the gate are two statues that kind of look like that wizard that you encountered in the uh, sewers or the tunnels above. Okay. You see along top of the, the wall of the castle, you see um, several gargoyles of different shapes, um, gargoyle statues of different shapes and sizes uh, up there, almost keeping watch, it seems, but they're definitely statues. Uh, from inside, you see a soft glow of light, and uh, you hear um, a little bit of music, kind of eerie, uh, almost um, organ music. We're talking like ominous, like Davy Jones in the bottom of the ship playing the organ with his tentacle face. Sure. Okay. Um, but I can guarantee you there are 100% fewer tentacles in this uh it, now, now you're just disappointing me, Josh. <laughs> um, now I just think you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's uh, let's proceed inside in the shadows. Okay. Just the two of you. Yeah. Okie dokie. So, uh, Eberus, how long do we just sit out here before we just kind of go in ourselves? As long as we figure out that they're not watching the pass. Got it. Um, So you enter this room, the first room in this castle. Um, This room's about 200 feet long and 100 feet wide. It's just a massive chamber with huge vaulted ceilings going to the top. There's two beautiful crystal chandeliers that, I don't know, maybe Chester and It you're very fond of because of how pretty and shiny they are. (laughs) Um, The floors are covered in well-masoned stones, red. Um, a red and gold carpet uh, greets you um, as you enter the room and uh, proceeds on. I have uh, to ask, ahead. just because it's D and D, does the carpet actually greet us, or is it just there? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> that was just that's just flavorful storytelling. Okay, okay. <laughs> that's that's a very good point. Thank you. Very possible, considering there are uh, two um, spiral stone staircases leading up to your left and right about 45 feet into the room. There are six uh, statues of that mage flanking the carpet leading up uh, to a massive stone door with strange runes on it. Is that there are a couple uh, tables. Oh, my. So Chester's immediately infatuated by that cheese on the table. Yep, there's a there's a table full of cheese and a table full of... Well, to be fair, I just had to use, like... It's, it's a table packed with food of all kinds, really. Okay. Um, one's full of, like, savory you know meal type stuff and one is full of sweets got it got it so um and then there's a smaller staircase proceeding downwards to your left off in the left corner chester is going to uh silently nudge it and then point over to the table full of food Ooh, that looks delicious and uh how far away from our teammates are we right now i mean you're inside the castle uh i would say you're a good thousand feet i would okay. say at least i'll be uh, I'll, i'm gonna lean over to just like you grab us some food and i'll wave them over okay okay and uh okay. chester is going to walk over to the table and uh sniff around for some cheese and meats and take a little for himself and then grab some more for everybody else <laughs> and then i'll walk over to the uh the wit the do we go through sorry where do we go through again there's a big door you went through a gate and then there was the path leading up to the castle 
Oh, uh, we weren't really far away. Yeah, we're we're kind of. I was gonna use a message to call them over and be like, "Hey guys, there's food," but um. Oh, okay. Go do that. Then. Well, I have to be within a hundred feet, so. Oh. Let's I mean, you switch. can walk out onto the pathway and. Wait yeah, that's down. true. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna, we're gonna switch places. Yeah, I'm gonna scurry. Well, so I'm just gonna take a bunch of food for myself. Then I'm gonna scurry outside, and uh, get to a place where I have a a visual of our friends. Mm-hmm. And uh, simultaneously stuffing my face and waving, you know, wa- waving, hi, come here, hi, come here. And then um, it will be eating food from the table. <laughs> Edris and Vora, you see your, your pal come out and wave you down. What do you do? Do we see him with arms full of food? Uh, definitely. I'm holding a cheese wheel that's almost as big as I am. We'll just, we'll <laughs> say that. Then uh, Edris will emphatically and uh, very quickly make his way down to you. <laughs> We'd forgot to bring some provisions. Foro will, Foro will less excitedly follow. It's like, oh, oh, looks clear. They've got breakfast. Let's go. <laughs> <We've> got breakfast. <laughs> uh, and here we were thinking they were going to steal everything. Foro nice will, little lads. Uh, <laughs> or will less excitedly follow. Yeah, you uh, you enter this room. Are you uh, are you all going to help yourself to this uh, this meal provided? No, because last <laughs> time I thought something looked delicious, I got poisoned by it. Hey, I'll be honest, you man. Knew. You see worms on a you, you see knew, worms on though. a table, and uh, <laughs> I mean, did I? They they were worms. Hey, worms are a delicacy in some places. Gross. Ever, Everest is gonna. Have his fill. Gonna munch, munch on that okay. food, food. Uh, yeah, sure. You guys spend maybe about ten minutes chomping down, chowing down. Maybe twenty. I don't know. Uh, Vora, you're probably just what looking more and more upset this this whole way through. Uh, more and more concerned. Like, why? Why would they think that this platter of food would be good if it's just sitting here unattended? It's for the guests. <laughs> Everest, Everest assumes that uh, they checked it and made sure it wasn't poison or anything, so he's all for it. <laughs> <laughs> Which they did not. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> after uh, after chowing down for a while, you do hear that uh, that mage's laughter fill the room again. Uh, he, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> he says, uh, <laughs> so you decided to join us after all. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> we are most excited that you've made it here. Our preparations are almost complete. In just six days, those fools above will activate the device and our father will be released. Oh, <laughs> I'm so glad you've come. Are you here to join our cause? Have you changed your mind? I mean, I'm here for the food. Well, that's good of reason as any. <laughs> now you son of a bitch, we're here to take you down. Yeah, you know why we're here. <laughs> we're here to finish what we started. <laughs> and finish your breakfast. <laughs> oh, well, I'm, I'm sure uh, we'll uh, convince you in time. Uh, feel free to look around the castle. I'm sure you'll find plenty to uh, mm, persuade you to our, our side of things. <laughs> and then that voice is gone. Now, was that voice in our heads, or was it kind of like a loudspeaker? No, no, no. It was, it, it was almost like a loudspeaker. It was reverberating throughout the room. Well, yeah, cheese is amazing. Their food's really good mm. here. Mm. Yeah, I'm... yeah, it's it's very flavorful. Mm. Oh, I wonder where they get it from all the way down here. <laughs> you guys probably shouldn't I, fight I, on a full yeah. stomach. Mm. Oh, ah, mm. good idea. You, mm. you mean you nap. should fight on a good full stomach? <laughs> so you have lots of energy. <laughs> you start for no, a cat nap. Oh, sluggish. You do see two very comfy-looking couches in this room as well, Chester. Conveniently located next to the tables. Chester's <laughs> going to uh, walk on over with his full belly and 
Oh, I'm just gonna shut my eyes for just a minute, guys. Just, I just need ten, ten minutes, maybe, maybe an hour. <sighs> oh. Oh, oh. Traders. Well, Eberus is going to examine the statues and the door. Uh, sure. Go ahead and roll an investigation check for the statues, and then for the door, do you let me know what languages you speak? Slash read. Alrighty. Uh, also, where is the thing? Uh, does stone cunning count for it? It says whenever you make an uh, intelligence history check for related to the origins of stonework. So, uh. Yeah, it's not a history check, really, unless you want to make it a history check and figure out if you know anything about the history of these statues. But Nah, I'll, I'll go for more general. So my uh, investigation is 17. 17. Okay. Um, yeah, so the statues, um, just kind of your, your general knowledge of, like, masonry, um, you can tell that these statues seem pretty fragile, uh, almost as if they might be hollow on the inside. Hmm. That's um, odd. But they statues look... Statues look hollow. You should break one. Maybe in a moment. Uh, I'm going to turn to the door as well, if that's it for the statues. Uh, that's all you got from the statues, uh, just looking at them. Um, what languages do you speak? Common and Dwarvish. Okay. Um, yeah, there are some strange runes uh, inscribing the door all around. Um, we'll use that same investigation check. Uh, you see two small S-shaped indentations on the left and the right of the door, one on each side. Um, almost like a like some sort of like pendant or uh, amulet or something is supposed to slide into those slots. Uh, but you don't see any handle or any uh, means of locking it or anything except and for those two indentations. I'm guessing uh, it looks unassailable. Like you got to unlock it or nothing. No way to bust it down. It, like it, it looks like a really solid stone door. Yeah. All right. What All right. an inconvenient way to open a door for us says to Ebris. <laughs> I how far apart are those indentations? I can't I barely even half my reach, or it's twice my reach. <laughs> yeah, the door's about ten feet wide. Yeah. It's a big old door. Big old door. Well, clearly it's meant for two people to open. But still, who does that? Well, I think we found our destination. We just need to figure out how to get in. How about you, little ones? This seems like your wheelhouse. Opening a door? Why can't you? <laughs> well, look at it. <laughs> I ain't got the key. But that uh, seems like something that you're good at doing. Opening doors without keys, that is. And Chester is going to open one eye. Did somebody say locked door? Aye, laddie. You can come over and take a hit at it if you like. Chester is going to come over and ruffle through all the uh, valuables in his backpack to pull a, a thieves tool some, some of his thieves tools out and uh, investigate the lock to see if he can pick it because investigating the lock before you pick it's always a good idea stay safe kids <laughs> so <laughs> D&D beginner tip always investigate the lock before I'll, you pick yeah, it always investigate before you stick so it. there there is no lock there is ah. just these two indentations with an S shape. Uh, I'm guessing no, none of us can read the runes on the door. Uh, I only have Dorvish to you like you, so no. I can't. Unless it's yeah. a quee quee. It's not an equi. <laughs> <laughs> I've got Draconic. It's not in Draconic. I have Elvish and Thieves Can't. Nope. I bet it's an abyssal. <sighs> Doesn't matter. Um, Chester is going to start investigating the statues to see if there is a way to interact with the statues at all. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, go ahead and roll your own investigation check on that as well. 
Sorry, I, I had to get up for a second if I if I missed anything that happened. Nah. Nope. We just figured out that they look hollow. Got a halfway decent investigation score, so that's an eight. Um, you catch Chester napping behind one of the statues. He said he was going to investigate again. <laughs> uh, um, Give yeah, him a you, little nudge with your foot. Wake yeah, up. You, you don't really get anything on that. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> and what are the statues of? They look like the same uh, mage that you encountered in that uh, tunnel upstairs. And do they so. look, are they quality made? Do they look like they're works of master, mastership? Uh, I'd say no. They're, they're definitely amateur. Um, they almost look, hmm. You rolled a 17. Uh, yeah. I'll just say they look amateur. Yeah. All right. Well, Everest is going to have no compulsion about smashing one and pull out his hammer and move towards the nearest and take a swing. Uh, okay, go ahead and roll an attack. Let's see. Um, 14 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Uh, roll damage. It's been a while since I used my physical dice. It's nice. Uh, for 13 damage. Um, yeah, you smash open the, uh, the statue there. And so you bust this open and one of these little creepy crawly uh, things pop out. Um, It's kind of got like spider legs on it, um, but its mouth is. uh, Oh, let me see. I wish I had a better picture, but it's fucking tiny. More like wings, but that's terrifying. Yeah, those are like little tentacle thingies. you you really had to go and break one of these things? You really <laughs> had to? Uh, so go ahead about, and roll initiative. How big is this thing? Uh, this is a tiny thing, so it's actually probably about the size of uh, Chester or it. I don't have time to like make an identification check. Do uh, I? No, probably not. Um, All right. You say you want to roll for initiative, though? Yes, please. Ten for me. All right. Ten... I rolled in the wrong channel, but I got a nine for initiative because Chester is just really on it today. <laughs> really on the naps. <laughs> uh, I got five because I hit. I got one. Does that mean I fail? It's a nat one. I, yeah, I nat one it. Yeah, you go can't. ahead and roll. Pers- well, no, you, you can't. You can't fail. I vote for an initiative. initiative. I can't. No, not on Ooh. initiative. You're fine. All right. Uh, Vora got a sixteen for initiative. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this little set of tentacles and and teeth on spider legs uh, falls tumbles out of the the statue and kind of just uh, snarls at you and, and hisses at you a little bit. Um, Vora, you're up first. Alrighty, uh, how close am I to it? Uh, you were kind of standing back from the table, so I'll say you're probably within like five or ten feet. Okay. Um, shit, I don't have my spells up front of my face now I do I'm going to poison spray it give me a constitution save okay guess what it has no bonuses for constitution yeah 16 fuck yeah it makes it okay (laughs) you want to get these bastards back for poisoning you yep (laughs) um well that did not work so did not. That is the end of my turn. <laughs> okay. Um, next to the order... don't get a whole lot of options in the way of bonus actions, so... No. Uh, Eberus, you're up. All right. And Homeboy's right in front of me. Yeah, I mean, he tumbled right out in front of you, so... All right, well, I'll just uh, give him a good old whap with the hammer. Uh, 16 or 15 to hit. That hits. All right, I'm just going to roll damage in here. 17 damage. Yeah, Eberus, um, so you see uh, Vora try to poison spray it, and you're probably just like, no, that's not how you do this. And you just bring <laughs> your hammer down in just one fell swoop, and you smash it to pieces, and it dies. Oh, nice. Eberus is going to take a look at the pile of mush left behind and try and figure out what the fuck it was. Uh, Vora is going to assist. Yeah, go ahead and make Arcana check, please. 
Uh, actually, he should probably assist uh, Vora in that. I'm yeah. Guessing. So I'll do that. I'll assist Vora. 22 for Arcana. Yeah. Um, so these creatures you've only heard of in probably like stories around like the campfire back home. Um, these creatures are said to come from the very stars themselves. Um, this creature is called a star spawn Gru, um, and it is a servant of usually more powerful uh, star spawned creatures. Um, they are usually heralds of doom, and where there's one, there's usually more. So don't smash the statues. Well, now there are five statues, so... <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe we should smash the statues and get yeah, rid of these just, little beasts. Let's just smash all the statues. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm down, if you guys are. Four is down. I mean, there could be those hidden keys in one of these statues. Was there anything <laughs> else at all in there, or just this little monster guy? Just the little monster, dude. Who would hide... Who would hide these things in there? Probably an evil guy <laughs> who's like, I'm going to put fucking monsters in the statues in case those bitches try and try smash the statues to the open statue. the door. I'll be honest. I think the answer to our statue pro- or like our door problem is upstairs. We've got a staircase. Yeah. Or we got three staircases to look at. Mm-hmm. I don't think smashing statues is the best use of our resources here. Sure. Yeah. John coming in with the logic fun killing. I just don't want to figure out why they're in there and in a disadvant- disadvantageous time. Oh, you know what? That's a fair point there. So, yeah. Why don't we... Um... Smash some bitches. We all take one. Yeah. Well, no, no. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll set up, right? We'll, we'll, make this, we'll make this almost idiot proof. So what's going to happen is we're going to have Chris... Or, uh, sorry, I'll, I'll, in character. We're going to have Ebris with his hammer smash the statue... And then it and myself are going to be ready with our weapons to stabby, stabby, poke, poke, die. And then uh, Vora is going to have a, a spell readied in case the stabby, stabby, poke, poke, die doesn't do it. We'll just finish it off with some fire. There's a round robin while you guys are all prepared to cast spells as soon as it appears. Yeah, something like that. Okay. I'm down. Are you going to go one at a time or are you going to try and smash them all at once? Well, if you guys can. No, we're going to go one, one at statue time. at a time. Okay. Yeah. If you guys could smash them all at once, I could stand in the middle and then thunder wave with channel divinity and just zap them all. I don't think I can smash a statue. I've got a rapier. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could turn into an owlbear, but that means I have to be an owlbear for like an hour. I believe the ability you can end at will. Yeah, wouldn't want to waste it though. Yeah, let's yeah. just let's just do it nice and easy where we don't yeah. expend any resources. Okay, so you're smashing another one? Yep. Okay, you smash one and three of them come out. Uh, oh. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe uh-huh. we shouldn't have done this. We'll use the same initiative. We'll just start uh, from the top. Um, or not from the top. We'll start uh, where we left off. Uh, Chester, you're up. All right, so I'm going to uh, bonus action to hide. Okay, you're going to dip behind one of the stats. You, you know, you were actually kind of yeah, already yeah. like half catnapping uh, behind one. So, sure. What? Would you call me hidden? If you want to call me hidden right now, I won't waste the bonus action to hide until after I attack. Um. Yeah, we'll say that you were already you were already kind of you know laying you were lazily laying around. Yeah, we'll say you're behind okay. one, so you're good. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna poke out and uh, use a give a stabby stabby poke poke sneak attack. Why is that? Oh, there it goes. Uh, for a twenty-seven to hit, that's a nat twenty, by the way. Hell yeah! All right. I'm going to double the dice rolls here for that natural 20. Yeah. And then uh, that's going to be 50 damage to that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it dies. It, it dies. Okay. Us, uh, you, you skewer it on your... It's vaporized. <laughs> and then I'm going to use my bonus action to uh, return to cover behind a statue and hide. Sure. Glorified it. Uh, butt damage. Uh, it's an 11 to hide, by the way. Okay. Now you're lucky these things aren't very wise. I am very lucky. Okay, uh, next in the order is the uh, Star Spawn Guru, um, which I'm just going to call Guru 
for short. Um, one of them is going to uh, take its uh, little mandibles there and uh, try and latch on to you, uh, Eberus. Oh, hat one. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it just implodes on itself. <laughs> uh, 30. No, we're going to say it bites its friend here. The waves break upon the rocks. <laughs> Um, so we're going to say it ends up biting its friend, uh, 2d4 plus one. And it, it gets a good little bite out of its buddy. Um, the second one is going to try and latch onto you, uh, it. What a poo head. For 18 to hit? Yeah, I hit. Okay. And I'll need you to make a, a wisdom saving throw as well. As you take eight damage. Okay. 20. Okay, yeah, you pass. Good job. Yay, we said take eight damage. Yes. And then next in the order is it. Fuck a bitch up. Fuck him up. I'm gonna fuck that bitch up. Fuck him up. Okay, so the one that attacked me was the one that took damage, right? Yes. Yeah. Cool. Perfect. I'm just wondering if it uh if that's the one that attacked me. Yes, that would have been the one that attacked you. Perfect. Equals fifteen. Uh, I don't think I made it. Um, 20 to hit? Yeah, that hits. Coo, coo, coo. All right. Hang on while I do damage really quickly because i got to do a lot of it. Six. So that's 11, and then I'm going to go again. Uh, it's dead. Oh, so. oh never or, mind. That That one's dead. So now you have one other one. Yeah, so then I will attack again. Sure. <laughs> 20 to hit. Damn. Yeah. Okay, cool. Go ahead and roll your damage. And then I don't know if I can hit it again. I don't think I can. And that's six. Again? What the heck? Um, And that's six damage for the other one. Okie dokie. Uh, Vora, you are up to bat. Alrighty. This time I'm going to firebolt it. Okay. Four mental math is hard. Twenty-one to hit. Uh, yes, that hits. For fourteen plus three, uh, for seventeen fire damage. Okay, it dies. Um, <laughs> yeah. Just to speed things up a little bit, because I don't really feel like playing out of this scene over and over again. <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll say that the rest of this extermination process takes about mm, 30 minutes or so. Of just... Uh, or no, actually, we'll say 10 minutes. Sorry, 10 minutes, because combat's quick. Um, of just smash and grab. You end up having to fight nine of these little bastards. Hot damn. But it's quick and clean and, cure and, and quick, so... Quick and clean and quick. Uh, so all now right. you got a bunch of stone scattered all over the the floor. Um, how's the uh, how's the door looking? It's still there. All right. <laughs> Nothing's is there, changed. Is there <laughs> any amulets among the goo or the S shaped effigies? Yeah, there are no S shaped uh, devices here. Yeah. At least we don't have to worry about these things again. Yeah, that was actually a very uh, clever, clever move there. So good job! Yay! Thanks. Uh, well, it was all uh, Ebris. Well, um, we got the things in the statues taken care of, and there's nothing else here. Do we go uh, up the spiral staircases or down the staircase? Mm, down the staircase. I'll trust your instincts on this. Yeah, I'll, all we'll right. Go with let's, that. let's go. You want to go downstairs? Downstairs. Downstairs. Awesome. Thank you for listening to our show. For more content, 
including world maps, cast info, or additional podcasts, check out our website, oneuppodcasts.com. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at Are We Dead Yet Pod and on Facebook at facebook.com slash Are We Dead Yet Podcast. Intro and outro music composed by Salty Dog Company. Find them on SoundCloud by searching for Salty Dog Co. Spell dog, D-A-W-G. Background music and ambience provided by tabletopaudio.com under an attribution, non-commercial, no derivatives, 4.0 international license from Creative Commons. Tabletopaudio.com really brings your games to life and is perfect for both adding in that background music to a podcast or for live sounds during gameplay to increase immersion. Check them out at tabletopaudio.com. Cover art by Ashley Steinke. We'll be back in two weeks with another episode of the show. Bye.